Hello. Recently, I got myself the shoes over here. It's a nice little dianthus, I think the species is. Yeah, dianthus. It's in the um, carnation family. She smelled really good, but I decided I wanted to start growing my own herbs and stuff because why not? Plants are good for you, they're good for air quality, they're good for general happiness. So I went to Lowe's and I picked up a bunch of seeds, because why not? If they don't work, they don't work, and I got a bunch more. I got peppermint, sage, tarragon, thyme, cilantro, parsley, rosemary, basil, and oregano. Alright, I got nine different plants and um, I'm going to start with the instructions for these pots which is to fill them with your soil starting mix and then saturate it until the walls or saturated. But first let's um herbs. Sick label. Alright, nice and crooked. Herbs. So this is my starting mix, it's just regular starting mix. So I'll uh, speed this bit up just so it's you know, not horrible to watch. So now we're going to water the crap out of them. Oh, well first we're gonna miss. First we're gonna use how to learn a fucking watering pot. I am very glad I bought this plastic container. It'd be very not good if I had not done that. Um, I'm sure it's not good for them to sit in water, so I'm going to refill the watering can, do this again, and drain the tub, because I don't want them to, you know, literally be sitting in water, so I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to take them out, put them on the lid, and, uh, let them drain for a minute or two before I plant them, so we'll be back. Alright, so two things have happened in none of the time that passed for you. First of all, I took some tin foil, folded it up like a fan, put some paper towels under it, just to give them a little bit of a drainage surface. I had a, a cooling rack that I thought would be the perfect size, but it's just a wee bit too big. Um, second of all, apparently the potting mix that I used was so light and airy and apparently some of them were sealed to the bottom, which is why they were overflowing and not actually saturating. This happened to some of them. Some of them are totally fine, like this, nice even. Some of them just have giant caverns. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dry mix, mix it in with the top layer of all of them just so it's not too wet and grounds the seeds. Alright, we're back to a more reasonable state of mind. We can start with the fun part. Let's do four seeds. I like one in four odds better than one in three odds. There we go. Alright, we are planting the oregano. Alright, 
for an excuse to use these in this thick ass rainbow. What color should we do for oregano? Oregano is definitely a green one, even though they're all green. Sharpies are a multi-purpose tool. Probably could have just labeled the pots themselves, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Yo, you could totally walk into Home Depot and like just slice a little corner off one of these and totally just steal a bunch of seeds. Like I don't need four seeds out of all these until I need to grow them again. I'm gonna vacuum seal them and I don't know how to store them yet, but I'm gonna vacuum seal them when I'm done. Oh, 
Oh shit. These are even smaller. How the fuck are you supposed to put these 12 fucking inches apart? I don't know if this is even worth counting, but... It won't even focus. I can't focus that, that small and tiny and close. That's how tiny they are. Start the germ. Take a look at these things. We got our oregano and our basil. What is that? Oh, falling off is what it is. A rosemary right there. And some parsley. Oh, 